Today we are working on a DIY paper crafting project. It's a shabby chic home decor piece. Hi, my name is Linda. If this is your first time here, I post all sorts of DIY and craft related videos. You might want to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single thing from me. We are focusing today on using product from ReneeBouquets.com, so let's get started. What I've got here is this whitewash board from Walmart. It has this rope on it. I took the rope off. Um, I actually have two boards and I cut about four inches off one board because I kind of want to elevate the bottom portion of this and then I have this other little thin scrap piece of wood that I cut down as well and these boards run about just a little under three dollars at Walmart so on this scrap piece of wood I want to go ahead and just kind of paint around the edges so that once these pieces are all glued together it kind of just blends in nicely and then the you know original color of the scrap piece of wood doesn't stand out and this wood is just like MDF just really uh, lightweight thin piece of wood I just wanted it a little bit thicker at the bottom going to be using this wood glue to glue all the pieces together so I'm going to add some on to um, the pieces of wood here lay that down another on this one and then I'm going to clamp it all together and let it sit for a couple hours till it dries and adheres nicely together I've got this die cut. I just bought it not that long ago at Tuesday morning and I'm going to go ahead and cut out these numbers. I want to add it to my project. I thought it would add some great texture so I'm just using my Big Shot machine winding it through back out again a couple of times so that all these numbers will cut out and I'm going to set that aside. These are the papers I'm using. I've got them all cut and ready to go. This is the picture that I'm using. It's a beautiful picture of a bride-to-be. It is my friend's daughter. I did a project with her about a year or so ago. One of her wedding photos, I'll make sure I link that below. This, uh, and it was a project for ReneeBouquets.com. And this is the other picture I've had and held on to waiting for inspiration because I just love it. So this project is a gift today. That's why it's kind of a paper crafting home decor piece. So I'm sewing around all the edges and then I will of course sew around the edges of the photo as well. And now I'm adding texture to all my pieces of paper here, taking the open end of my scissor blades and uh, scraping along all the edges. And again, I will do that on the photo as well. It just adds great texture. I love it. Lends to the shabby feel of the project. Even when I'm doing farmhouse, I will do this. Sew around all my papers and distress all the edges just like this. I wanted this project to be really romantic with flowers and uh, oodles of, you know, uh, pieces on here and, and little um, uh, embellishments and things like that. So that's why um, it's kind of more of a shabby chic paper crafting project. So using my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue, of course, as you can see here, and getting uh, going to glue everything down. I sewed my around my photo a little bit later, so and that's why it's kind of here in out of place. So I wasn't sure how big I was going to uh, cut the photo out or whatever, so um, that's why it's kind of out of place from the other papers that I've sewn. I'm just going to kind of get all my pieces of paper ready. This is another little piece of wood um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's by Tim Holtz. He has packages of uh, wood pieces that you can get to do your uh, projects with and so I use these love them a lot because it helps me to layer my pieces so getting my bottom pieces of paper down yeah the wood comes in like packages of three or something like that so I buy them and use them different sizes anyway so I'm going to start gluing down all my little numbers here that I thought would add great texture don't worry I'm just going to glue a few down um, and then I will skip ahead and glue a couple more pieces. I'm not going to put you through that because it takes a while to sit and glue these numbers down individually. But I chose the numbers just not because of the texture, but also to kind of, uh, you know, symbolize like days of the week or month or year, you know, um, getting married, your life together, that kind of thing. So that was kind of my um, thought process on this. And this is Fabri-Tac glue that I have in this bottle as well. I put some into this because it's got a fine tip on it. Um, so to help me um, keep the glue nice and thin on these numbers. 
But I like how it's these are down there and they're nice and kind of just subtle. You see it at a glance, but it doesn't really like, you know, grab your attention. It's just kind of there in the background. Get these glued down and we'll just kind of go on to the next step here. See, I didn't bore you with gluing all those. I know you're happy. <laughs> This is just a resin frame for my supply and I'm just kind of laying things down here uh, to see where I want things to be. And I'm going to bring in now some Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. This is the Ivy Vine Flourish and I'll be layering it at the bottom of my photo. And then I realized one of the papers there here, um, I forgot to glue it inside. I wanted it underneath uh, this paper here. Uh, as I was laying things out, seeing where I wanted it, I realized I want it under. So I'm pulling this one paper up and then, of course, gluing that piece down. So just kind of part of the quote shows on it and then re-gluing down the other piece. I was going to have it under the photo and I decided that's not where I wanted it. And my original thought was to glue it under the paper, but I forgot. Things happen when we craft, right? Just kind of laying things down again. So I'll go ahead and get this resin frame glued down. This is an old frame by Prima Marketing. I think you can still get some frames by um, uh, Hobby Lobby, their paper craft studio. You might be able to find some in the store. They're different shapes than this, but I love using these frames. I have a supply of them. So I um, love putting them on my shabby chic projects. Got that glued down. I'm gonna glue down this other board piece I think see how I want this ivy vine flourish to kind of fit on the photo kind of layering back and forth and seeing what I want whenever I do projects I kind of lay it all out first um, and then I take pictures with my iPad and then as I'm redesigning it I look back and forth to my iPad um, to see how I had it so it helps me to put it back together again so just gluing this down on top of the frame. And now you can see why I kind of put that board down at the bottom to make it taller because I knew I was going to be adding some stuff up here to make it tall. So these are tags from ReneeBouquets.com, beautiful board laser cut chipboard. They're four piece set of rose tags and I'll be using uh, one of the pieces from the set here. So see how this is all layering up really tall and that photo is just almost going to kind of sit on that bottom portion that we glued earlier on in the project where we glued those wood pieces down. This is just a pocket watch from my supply. Renee has a uh, pocket watch cabochons in stock, ReneeBouquets.com. And I'm going to be using some cardboard here to kind of layer up my pieces because the uh, Renee Bouquet beautiful board laser cut chipboard is so tall. Um, it's about the uh, thickness of a nickel. I often, when I'm layering, have to use cardboard to level up the pieces when I layer on top of those uh, laser cut chipboard pieces. So this is just some wood <laughs> that I had from my supply. Um, I already glued it together. I knew I was going to have to layer into the picture there because you can see the space that's there so that my photo doesn't fall to the center. Just some scrap wood pieces I glued together. That way my photo will lay nice and level across that center area there. I have to add a little bit more cardboard up here. I layer a lot when I'm crafting. Those of you who've been with me a while know this. So those of you that are new, surprise! I really love projects like this to be really 3D and layered. I usually, the embellishments and flowers and things I put on my pieces like this, there is usually some kind of story to it. Um, it all goes together in some kind of fashion. Um, so you'll kind of see that in the um, journaling, so to speak, that I do on this project, adding the little stickers and things like that, the little quotes and stuff, um, all just kind of fits together. Earlier, like when I was talking about laying the numbers down, they represented like, you know, days of the week, month, year, you know, that a married couple is together. So that was the reason for that. That little quote on that piece of paper to the left there says, when I fall in love, thought that was perfect. Of course, her wedding day start layering down at the bottom. These are some tags and stuff that I uh, cut out from some scrapbook paper. Just going to layer that under the photo a little bit and then I'll start working down on the bottom adding flowers and things like that. I'm going to layer two tags here. 
This is some Rene Bouquet lace, beautiful lace. It's white floral embroidery lace in ivory. And I just cut off a little like two inch section. Gonna just kind of lay that down at the bottom just to kind of symbolize, you know, lace on a wedding dress, that kind of thing. I'm gonna start adding in some flowers here. This is just a little resin corner piece. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it at the top of the photo. Now this ensemble here I put together off camera because it took a little time finagling to get it together, but I have two paint brushes I kind of distressed a little bit, tied a silk bow around it, and I put this floral vine on it, and it's similar to this floral vine. And I don't know if you can find these in store anymore, but like I said, I put it all together because it just took a little bit of time. So that's ready to glue in a minute. And I'm bringing in some of these Rene Bouquet Mulberry Flowers in the Sew Coral set, and I'm using the lighter pink in the set. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the paint brushes here. Now I chose to do this little paintbrush ensemble to kind of represent, you know, painting a picture of love. That was the thought process out of my mind. I know it might be a little bit uh, corny, but you know, I'm a romantic at heart, so there's my thought process. I'm gonna start gluing in some other flowers from my supply here and just kind of um, go ahead and gluing all around this paintbrush ensemble, bringing in kind of that romantic, shabby uh, personality to the piece. We'll be fiddling with this a little bit, going to go ahead and glue down these flowers from Renee Bouquet's. I didn't want too many flowers here because I wanted it not to be too super busy, but I needed a few. Kind of gluing everything in and around here. little break from my voice, gluing flower, flower right on top the that bow there. I'm bringing in some Rene Bouquet uh, Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard. These are skeleton leaves. Also going to be bringing in these beautiful words set. It says Sparkle Fairy Dust in the Moment is the set, and I'm going to be using the word moment out of this set. And I'm going to also be bringing in these really pretty Aurora Borealis Butterflies in pink. So those are all the products from Renee Bouquet's we'll be upcoming here and using. I'm going to tuck in some of these skeleton leaves among the flowers. Gluing the butterfly right at the top there. Adding in some of these cute pink flowers from my supply. Just to kind of bring the flowers upward a little bit, you know, just to make the, the piece look um, all put together. Putting in the moment here, That's this is part of my title, putting it on the journaling cards. Kind of the little tags there, and that's kind of the, you know, moment. Wanted to kind of put that out by itself a little bit so it stands out a little bit. This is just a metal embellishment piece I'm putting uh, right here in the center of my flowers, and it's going to house a little bit more of the uh, thought to the title, I guess, so to speak. I've got these stickers uh, from my supply, and they say, A Glimpse of Heaven Within My Heart. So I'm gluing these because they are stickers to some really thin cardboard, like a cereal box thin cardboard, and then I will cut them out. Really beautiful title. I thought it went, or journaling, I guess, so to speak, thought it went with the title. The title will say beautiful moments when it's all put together and I am cutting these out and I wanted them sturdy because I'm actually going to glue them right on top of that center ring of that metal embellishment that I just glued down. Here's the rest of the title beautiful. These are uh, like words they are kind of made out of plastic. I believe I got them at Hobby Lobby. So beautiful moment is the title. A glimpse of heaven within my heart is the remainder of the journaling. I just thought that all tied together so beautiful. I just thought that might be, you know, I kind of know that that was, you know, my sentiments when I was getting married. So um, I thought it fit perfectly and went well with the photo that I'm using. Okay, we're going to finish with applying some texture to the project. I'm going to be using this Rene Bouquet Glitter Glass in Diamond. It's just beautiful. And then I'm also going to be using these No Hole Microbeads, Glass Microbeads in the Pearl shade. They are so tiny. Look how tiny these are. And what I've done is I have a little jar that I've combined the two together because it just makes it easier when I'm doing this process. And I'm going to be using this 3D Matte Gel Medium. You could use um, 
fabric tack if you want um, and I'm just dipping a paintbrush into this uh, matte medium and just kind of tapping it on into the places that I want to put this and then I will pour on the texture and then as you can see I've got my project laying on a drip pan so what I'll do is you know a couple areas here and there I'll dip into the matte medium and then I will pour my texture on top and then I will turn my project over and tap off the excess that way when I'm all done all that excess can go back into the jar and be used for another project but I love using this um, texture this kind of texture look how beautiful that looks with those micro beads and the glass glitter I think it adds such romance to projects especially just like this really subtle but just there and I just think it turns out so beautiful and I'm layering some of this texture at the top as well because since I put it down at the bottom we want this uh, texture and step to be nice and cohesive throughout the project so that's why I'm putting it at the top as well so that when you look at the project as a whole it all just comes together so that makes this project complete. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I'll have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquets, including the links to the product I used on this project. I encourage you to go take a look and see what Renee has to offer in her store. Not only does the products look good on you know shabby chic projects like this, but they also look good on farmhouse projects and things like that as I've done in the past for Renee Bouquet projects that I've shared here on YouTube. I really hope my friend just adores this home decor piece and it reminds her of the day that her daughter got married. I'm really excited to show it to her. I can't wait. I will have all my links down below to my blog and Instagram and Pinterest. Come follow me on those social media sites. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.